instead of posting another reel or just another post, I wanted to come on live and just share some of my story with you and kind of see if everyone else, like if we're, I think a lot of us are from the same era and we worked right ever since we were young we like we babysat or we just did odd jobs you know when we were young and then that progressed into working you know at the local pizza shop or the grocery store and i think that we come from a long line of hard workers i know that i do both my parents are hard workers and i think that a lot of us tie our worth to working and to how much money we can make and we're also conditioned to believe that we have to do that outside of the home. And you're all women in here, so I guarantee you, some of you, if not most of you, have come across articles at one point or another that women who stay home um, come to find out it equates to like two or three jobs that we do on the daily, right? So I think that that's so looked past because it was just what women did, right? It's what we were, what was expected of us, especially in our generation and the generations before. So now there's this generation of women who are, I mean, social selling is like the new thing, right? Everyone's doing it because everyone realizes that we can. We're all influencers to some respect, right? If you get online and you're like, oh my God, this Starbucks, like you have to go get it. Or look at the cute dress I got from Target. Or um, I read this book and I just, it helped me gain so much clarity in my life. That's all influencing. So I started babysitting when I was really young and then I worked at a pizza shop and then I worked at a floral warehouse and you know, I kept on doing all these jobs. I eventually wound up cleaning houses for 13 years. I worked for myself. My mom helped me get into that business because she did the same thing. And I could work part-time and make a full-time income. So if you never had a cleaning lady, don't know how much cleaning ladies make, it's, it's a great gig, but you work your butt off. It's for cash, so you're not building any credit. You know, it's, it's great in some aspects. It's not great in others. And you know, then COVID hit. And sometimes there are things that put life into perspective for us, right? So for about a year before COVID hit, I knew that I didn't want to be like in that rat race anymore. I was tired of going into people's homes. I was tired of cleaning up after people. And I just wanted to do something different. And I was so intrigued by the social media world. Um, I wasn't big on social media. I had maybe 300 followers. I was literally posting like my AIP dinners that I would make that, you know, for autoimmune or pictures of the dog or the boys when they were at soccer. It was very, very minimum. But I knew because the ladies that I followed that there were some ladies out there having really big success. And I joined a a hair product company and I found out very quickly that not only was the company itself and the way that it functioned not a great fit for me, but that it was really difficult to show up online and show hair products and like before and afters and how it helped. So I was like, I have to do something different. There has to be something that I can show that's like tangible, that's Um, you know, something that I know that every single day there is a different way that I can, I can show up. But like, how do I do that? What, what company is there? So being online, being on like Instagram, I knew there was like Arbonne. I knew that there was Saint. I knew there was beauty counter, but I also know myself and I know that I am never going to tell somebody about anything. I'm never going to try and influence anybody unless it's something that I would buy myself. And if you don't know this about me, I am tight. <laughs> I do not spend money. I Everything like that's out here was all clearance. That's just who I am. I'm like a budget babe. I, I'm not a spender. So I knew that if 
I wasn't going to spend it, say on beauty counter, great products, but I wasn't going to spend $60 on a product. So I knew that I would have a really tough time authentically showing up and being like, you need this $60 product also. I'm a, I'm a $16 product kind of girl. And I knew that that felt good to me. And whatever I did, I knew it needed to feel good. So I made up a list, a pros list and a cons list. And I went back and forth with my girlfriends for a long time and just bounce things off of them. And it so it made sense on paper, but I was so scared. I was so scared to fail. I was so scared to succeed. Isn't it, doesn't that just sound crazy? I was scared to take a chance. I was scared to spend the money. I was just really afraid. And I think that's what holds most of us back from doing things from making changes in our careers or our life, you know, relationships, whatever the case may be. A lot of it just comes down to fear. So I was like, okay, I'll just step my toes in the water. I'll just try the makeup. And I am not even someone who spends money online either because I'm always like, what if I don't like it? I am horrible at returning things. I'll be out of all this money. And it was a lot of money for me to spend at one time was a hundred dollars, especially during that time of, you know, what we were going through. So I tried it. And within like four days, I remember hopping on a message to the lady I bought the makeup from and being like, I, I want to share this because I believe in it and because I spend the money on it. And I know that I would continue to spend the money on it. And I know that I could genuinely show up and like, from an emotional standpoint, be able to tell ladies, to be able to tell you guys how much it changed how I was showing up. That I was practicing self care, that I was taking care of myself, you know, in other ways then because I felt better. I had more motivation and more confidence. And because I knew it wasn't gonna break the bank. And so I felt really confident in that. And I know that there are so many women who are 40 and over who aren't doing things for themselves. And it comes down to, cause we don't want to spend the money, right? We say we don't have the money, but a lot of times it's because we're spending it on our family or our home or, you know, other things that are important to us. I knew it came down to, you know, we spend so much time on other people that we didn't take the time to do our makeup or our hair or to put on earrings, which I still don't really do um, because we're exhausted and you know, we're so used to pouring our energy into everybody else. And it was really important to me to kind of share that message that it's not about makeup. It's about sharing and instilling confidence and a new desire and a new motivation. It's not about makeup. And I've said that many times. It has nothing to do with makeup. It has to do with making sure we're taking care of ourselves and it has to do with feeling good and it has to do with just doing something for ourselves and giving ourselves purpose if we feel we don't have any or something different to focus on because the the monotony of just life and mothering you know especially if you don't have anything going on outside or like this is your life you don't have a big social circle you get lost in that and I was feeling lost in that I've been a mom for a long time and you know cleaning houses I was always alone you know, sometimes customers would be home, but it's not the same. It's not like they're going to walk around with me. I was always alone and I was always in my thoughts. So about four days later, I contacted her and I said, I want to do this. She said, these are the two kit options. There was a $250 one and a $400 one. And I was like, my heart is like thumping. And I was like, but the, the big one, the big kit, the $400 one looks like so much fun. Like if I'm going to do it, I'm going to dive in and I want all the things, right? Hey Jess, I want all the things. So I did it. She was like, here's my link. And I signed up. I took such a, it was something I don't normally do, right? Like I took such a chance. I spent the money and I remember my ears turning red. Hey Becky, my ears turning red. And I was so scared. And I took off running before I even got the kit. I said to my, to my upline, to my mentor, I was like, what next? She was like, you need to set up like an online class and you need to go live. I was like, I'm too scared. She was like, you're going to do it and you need to do it. I'd never gone live in my life. And let me tell you something two and a half years ago, if you'd have been like, Krista, you're going to be going live every day of your life. I'm going to be like, not me. 
there's no way. Like I have dreams of being on stage and motivating other women, right? A lot of us do. But so many of us never made that come to fruition because we were so scared. So she said, you need to go live for the next seven days. Just do it. Rip off the band-aid. I went live five out of those seven days and I had a fantastic sales month. And it wasn't because I was promoting makeup. It was because I showed up scared and I was relatable. And all you girls were there like rooting me on. And every time I got off live, I was like, Whoa, that was so exhilarating. I want to do it again. I was scared and I was like soaked and sweating, but I wanted to do it again. And I haven't stopped since. I've been completely consistent and my paychecks have reflected that because I show up not from a place of like, I need to make this money because I do need to make the money, but because I feel so good about it and I just wanna share it with other women. So all that to say, I think it's tomorrow, there's a new kit dropping. You don't have to spend $200 or $400 on the bigger kits if you're already a customer because you don't need extra makeup, right? So I bought that whole huge kit, which is a lot of fun, but I have palettes and palettes full of all this makeup that honestly I've never even used because I don't do in-person color matches. Now, if you are someone who thinks that, I mean, if you were like a social butterfly, you're going to be going to your neighbors and your sisters and your cousins and your grandma, and you're going to be having all the parties at your house and all those things, go get that big kit because you're going to want all the different colors for a wide range of faces. I have all the leftover makeup, excuse me. So for me, it would have made more sense to have the kit that's releasing tomorrow, which is $99. It's not any extra makeup other than lip conditioner. It's some brushes and some palettes and the beauty blender sponge. So you can get started tomorrow for only $99. And I know that so many women, especially right now, we're in such a position where we might really want to do something for ourselves, but we can't, or we might need to make more money. But that initial investment is so expensive at 200, 300, 400 dollars. So at $99, you can do this. Just know that if you're not already a customer, you're not going to be getting all that extra makeup. So if you want to do that, just message me below or DM me and I will get that link over to you tomorrow. And I am happy to mentor you all through the beginnings of your business and I'm always available. I have a team chat. All my girls are in there. We're always chatting back and forth, helping one another out. Don't worry about color matching. Don't worry about any of that stuff because I will train you and help you to do all of it. Don't be afraid. Be a little bit afraid because that's what motivates you, but don't be so afraid that you don't follow through and do it because I believe in you and you can borrow all the confidence you need to from me. And I'm gonna show you how to show up consistently and I'm gonna show you how to make something happen that you never thought was possible. Okay, so comment below or, or message me and even if you just want more info, I have PDFs and you know what comes in, the, in each kit, in all three kits and um, I can plug you into all of the training pages and sites and all the things, just don't even worry about it. But I'm so excited for anyone who just wants to start on this journey and, uh, and be a part of it with me. Okay, so I'll see you girls soon.